Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're working on an OAuthentic authentication lab in Portswayer's Web Security Academy. It is forced OAuth profile linking. So the lab gives you an option to attach a social media profile in addition or instead of due to the web. An attacker can manipulate this functionality to obtain access to other users' accounts. So we're going to do a CSRF attack. And then add access the admin panel and delete Carlos. So we need to to the admin user's account. And they're going to open anything they send from the exploit ser server now always have an active session on the blog website. And we have credentials. Sweet. Let's check it out. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. I'd appreciate that. All right, let's first see how we go about linking our own account. So we're going to go to my account and log in with social media. Or do we need to, let's log in with this first. Log website account. Yeah, let's do this one. So Wiener... Peter. There we go. So we've got username, email, API key, and a social profile username. So let's inspect this OAuth and response specific code, scope, open ID. Interesting. Let's, uh, you probably can't see this very well. Let's edit as HTML just to look at it. So client ID is this redirect URI response type. So this is a link that goes to the OAuth. with a client ID and the client ID, what is that? Hmm. I don't think that, I think this is the configuration for, and the client ID would be the app. And then it's saying connect back to this when you're when you're done return here all right let's try it attach a social profile we'll sign in with peter.wiener and hot dog. Copy. Hot dog. All right, and then we authorize it. Continue. Continue. Sweet. So she used profile. Now we're we're linked. So let's go through proxy HTB history. Check what we did. And really what we're looking for. So is the vulnerability social media due to the insecure implementation of OAuth by the client application? 
and it so the vulnerabilities in the client application access to others users accounts so that means that so here's where we logged in boom got my account and then here's the OAuth get OAuth and it's a get so then we go through the OAuth stuff and when we come back we do with the code we've successfully linked it. So I think it is uh, not this, this get. Because it's a get, cross-site request forgery. I think it's this, right? This is again probably one that I need to uh, prove out before writing the script. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go here, paste that. So that's going to link it, hopefully. And then we're going to send this deliver to victim. All right, let's, let's view it. Looked good. Let's, uh, deliver to victim. Let's view the log. There's 10. They definitely got it. So now my account. Log in with social media. We're still wiener. So I didn't do it. Um, form. Client redirect profile. History document submit. <clears throat> what am I doing wrong? All right, let's go through this. One more time. So if I proxy. HTTP history, this one, OAuth linking code, no,
So this one redirects back with this code. which has the client ID open it. This seems right to me. Um, engagement tools generate CSRF, which this is the same as what we've already done, right? Copy HTML, go to exploit server. And let me Duplicate tab. I'm pretty sure this is what we've already done. Doing it there. It's fine. Access log. Move this one over. There's the victim getting it. So if we go to uh, delete all my account login with social media my account we're wiener still is there a way to unattach Log out my account. All right, I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to do some more reading and figure out what I am not doing right. I feel like this is the right stuff. But then how do I I've deleted all cookies, right? Log in with social media. I'm not successfully linking the admin account to social media, so far at least. And the way we do that is we click this client ID is that. But that's not my session. Client ID. I think that's right. All right. So let's close this. This has got to be how we do it, right? OAuth. Client ID. Redirect URI code scope OAuth linking response code type code scope. Yeah, Let's search AP 
Yeah. All right. I'm going to take a few minutes to read more on these topics. Not that one. I don't want to prevent. And then I'll come back in just a few minutes. Okay, so I was going through uh, the this session. Um, so this is right when I first logged in. Um, what I was trying to do in the beginning is start it here. But what would happen if I did all of this and then stopped this right here before this so I didn't do this action um, this is the OAuth linking with a code and then sent this as a CSRF attack to the victim let's try that so what we're going to do, we're going to go back, remember, right here. So we're going to go, not there, not there, not there, not there, here. All right. And we're going to go to, how are we going to do this? Uh. We're just going to click here, but let's turn on proxy, intercept, on, and click attach social media. Okay, we're going to forward this. OAuth linking. We are going to drop this. Copy URL. Uh, let's do uh, engagement tools, generate CSRF, drop this. Turn intercept off, copy HTML, go to not that, go to exploit server. We already have a couple open. Control A B Deliver exploit to victim. Okay, they got it. Now we want to whoops. I don't know what I just closed, so let's reopen it. Go home, my account, leaner. Let's log out. Social, this is unlinked now. And look, admin panel. Yes. Okay. And then there's the delete. So let's write the steps down. Kate, new file. We need to go through the linking process until we get a, uh, what kind of code was it? A code. I don't know what code it is. Proxy. Uh, HTTP history. It's just called a code. A uh, code. Once we do that, then we deliver the code via CSRF to the victim. We log, we visit the site and 
login using uh, OAuth and we should be admin. All right, that's what we gotta do. Okay, um, let's see, I need just a minute before we start that. I'll be right back. You know, I'm gonna wait to write the script until we've got a new server. The reason being is that we don't have a way to unlink the admin account. So if our script has some kind of error in this first part, we won't know and we'll just be able to jump to this part without any errors. So yeah, I'm gonna wait 15 minutes and then start this again. So see you in a bit. Okay, so we should be, we should, this should air out now. Hopefully, there we go. So we're gonna close tabs to the right, access, go there. Pull up another one, and then we'll start writing the script. There we go. Okay, so Python utils create paste this. Copy this and paste it. And vim forced. Okay. So we need to go through the linking process until we get a code. So that means we go to my account and we click on this, we get visit this button. Let's get, um, a session while we're at it. So the first thing we're going to do is visit my account. So resp equals blog dot um, get response blog dot my account session. Do we need a session? I don't even think we do. Let's save it now that we have it equals um, what is it? Resp dot resp dot cookies dot get session. Okay. Once we visited that site, uh, oh wait, not my account. What did I say? We need login response. We need change word blog dot base. URL plus login. And then we need to extract this URL. Um, so href, it's probably, let's just on debug blog, log dot debug resp dot text. Let's get that far. And um, then we'll extract this form. We're going to post href. Oh, uh, this is the login. And this is link login with social media. We need to... Do we need to log in first? Yeah, we need to log in first. My goodness. So what if we just do blog dot log in wiener peter uh, 
resp equals. And then, oh, we need resp cookies equals log.debug resp.text. Sorry, a lot of lots of false starts on this one. We need to log in and then get the link to link with social media, right? Your social profile username is your API. So attach. We need to go through these steps until. And is this the only? No. We got ahref here. Uh, we can key off that. So this is OAuth link equals. Um, let's do pattern equals R. I'm going to use double quotes. And I'm going to do P ahref equals single quote capture group dot asterisk question mark and I'm going to end it with the single quote boom attach a social just like that double quote boom think equals blog dot extract text pattern resp dot text Okay, now that we've got the OAuth link, we need to visit it. We don't need any cookies, right? So uh, blog dot get response OAuth link resp equals log dot debug resp dot text. Let's kill that one. All right. So we're logging in, getting the response. Okay. This is from here. This is the log, the, what is this? Forced OAuth linking, got some A, and then here's the form. So the social, enter a username or email, password, and that's it on this form. So then we need to, and we need to extract the action. So let's say... In, um, action URL equals let's do another pattern equals our single quote this time action equals double quote slash interaction this is all being captured dot ashes question mark and we're going to end it right before the here space class right so that should get we're going to capture from here to there cool uh, blog dot x extract text pattern resp dot text now that we've got the now we need to submit there's no CSRF. We just need to submit a username and a password. Okay. So we can do blog.postData. I just wrote this, and I don't know why I didn't have anything like this before. I think I wrote it uh, in site. Post data. So it's just a generic post. Um, but it does the if no proxy else stuff for us. And we can enter headers, cookies, data, JSON, and whether or not we want to redirect. 
Okay, so post data, and we want the response. Post data, we want the, oh, the URL. We need to get the URL. So I think we need to use the resp. We don't have the URL yet, right? For the OAuth server is what I'm saying. Oh, we can get it from this getting response from, and that is the OAuth link. So uh, we can do OAuth domain equals URL parse of OAuth link dot net lock, right? And we'll need to from URL lib dot parse import URL parse. So that should give us the um, domain. So we know where to post it. Now we just need to post the data. The URL will be f HTTPS with the, we can actually get the scheme also. Let's do that. Change word scheme. Change word scheme. And then here we'll put OAuth scheme OAuth domain and then the action URL. Boom. That's the URL. We're going to post to that URL. Data equals data. Everything else. I don't think we need anything else. Data equals username. What is it? It's um, peter.wiener. peter.wiener and password, which is hot dog, right? Yep. Okay. That's the data. So we're going to post that and let's what happens when we post that? What we don't want to do is uh, follow redirects all the way. So we went here. Redirecting. So here's the redirect URI. Wonder if we are we doing yeah redirecting to interaction. This is the page that we're on right now with the form. Sign in. And then here's the post. 302 found. Here's the post. 302 found. Get. See. Well, this is fine. OAuth. Back to lab. Authorize. So we need to get to this page. So we can follow redirects until we get here. At least. Okay, so log.debug resp.text. I just want to make sure we don't go too far.
internal server error. What did I do wrong? So we logged in, fine. We got my account, cool. We got this redirect, cool. And then we got this form. Oh, maybe we don't, didn't have the cookie. Get, so here we get assigned two cookies that my account we're getting and we get redirected here and we're only using one but where's the post? Why don't I see that one? Post data. Self. Posting data to here. Why don't I see that in the proxy? Headers can allow redirects. True. We should see proxies equals utils proxy verify. I don't see why, I don't understand why we don't see that. It should be a post right here. Uh, but let's also grab the cookie. So this is, um, and we're going to save those. So it's going to be when we get this one, cookies equals get response OAuth link, which is going to be this request, um, but we get automatically redirected. So... Uh, we'll need to get the request the freaking okay so and what is it called underscore interaction so re response dot request dot underscore cookies dot get underscore interaction interaction cookie interaction cookie is that and then here cookies equals interaction interaction cookie cookies equals cookies All right, let's see if that does it helps any. I still don't understand why I'm not seeing that post. Posting data to internal server error. Get... Then something's not right with this, with this code. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm really, really dumb. Okay, let's try that. When you want to post, make sure you actually do a post. Things will make a lot more sense if that's what you do. 
Oops, something went wrong. Okay. 302 found. Hmm. Something's not working the way I expect. All right, so this one forced whatever. We have this form interaction. We're posting to interaction, blah, blah, login. Yep. We have a username, password, and that's it. Username, password. We have a cookie, and then we need to get this, but something went wrong. Authorize, oh, authorization request has expired. Authorization request. How could it, it have expired when I just did it? Maybe it's that interaction resume. Let's try adding this. Because they're the same, I am going to just go here. And when I do uh, set the cookies, I'm going to do interaction underscore resume interaction cookie whoops that uh, cookie all right let's see how that gets along post Hey, that actually freaking worked. And now, uh, we need to authorize form. So we're going to post to config. That's it. We're just going to post without anything to confirm, and then is this where I want to stop following redirects? So this is the slash confirm. So I want to look through history for a confirm. Let's go right here. When I post to confirm, it's going to redirect here, and then this is going to redirect, yeah, to, with the code. So once I post to confirm, I cannot follow redirects. Or at least, yeah, automatically. Cool. But this has interaction session... Session legacy. Where did it get session and session legacy? I don't have those. OAuth. I have interaction. Interaction resume. Oh, right here. So let's add session and session legacy to our stuff. So right here, I'm going to do session cookie equals resp dot request again dot under keys dot get uh, session and then the cookies will now be cookies 
It is just called, no, it's underscore session. Session. Equals session cookie and cookies session dot legacy. Yep, legacy equals session cookie. All right, so our cookies should be all set. Um, we need to post to there with all the cookies with follow direct redirect off right so let's do it we're gonna do resp equals blog dot post data to we actually don't we already have like a url that's similar or should we just extract it um, I mean, we posted to got this one. Yeah. What is that, um, action URL? The action URL should be exactly the same, but, or in fact, this whole URL should be exactly the same. So let's do URL plus login. Uh, we probably want slash login. Okay. And we don't need any data for this post. The one we're doing now. Oh, it's slash confirm. Right? Slash confirm, not login. Which, oh, this one's going to be action URL. Crap, I'm just going to extract it. I think that's a better idea. So, action URL and blog. Yeah. We're going to take this, 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 and do it all right here. Action equals interaction. And we're going to go until method. Method. There. And then we have OAuth schema, OAuth domain, action URL. We have no data. We don't need this anymore. We do need allow redirects equals false. Okay. Let's um, do this. I don't know what these are, but let's delete them. What just happened? We posted to confirm without cookies. Ah. All right, let's try this again. Man, these are, these labs are long. Okay, so posting to confirm, we got a 302, and that's what we want. We're going to follow this 302. All right, so we want to get post the was blank, so we want um, we want to get the location, right? 
Yeah. Redirect to equals resp dot headers dot get location log dot info f redirecting to re redirect to all right almost there we just need to visit this redirect and then get the next redirect sweet all right so blog dot get response oh we don't have any we need to send all the cookies redirect to cookies equals cookies allow redirects equals false we're going to save this resp equals log.debug resp.text this should be the url that we want Redirecting to, this is a, this is what we want though. It's weird that it's, uh, let's see what happened. Post, boom. We confirmed it. We got redirected to this page and now we're getting a 302 to the actual page that we want. And it's just a, it just has a body of that in the 302. That's, a, that's okay. We're gonna extract the location and that's what we're gonna deliver to the, to the victim. So we're gonna do uh, linking URL equals resp dot dot headers dot get location log dot info f linking url linking url all right let's make sure i said that super loud didn't i <laughs> sorry <laughs> let's make sure we have it the linking url that's hard to say. And then we'll uh, we'll send that to the victim. Boom. There it is with the code. It's perfect. All right. Now we need to send it to the victim. Do I, Oh, I already have a... Uh, we need like a... a an image, all we need is, so, <laughs> I'm gonna finish my sentence in just a second. I hate how this is all just one big blob of, we should really break this up. Okay, let's do, def get linking URL. We definitely need blog. All right. I want all of this stuff. Well, if I'm going to... I need pattern. And then we need the resp blog resp. <laughs> That's 
so dumb. <laughs> like I made the script any better doing what I just did. Blog. Yes. Uh, <laughs> funny. Linking URL equals this. So we're going to return linking URL. All right. Let's uh, run this. Make sure it still works. We've done step one. All we need to net do now is deliver it to the victim. Def deliver. Linking auth code. Yep. To victim. Deliver a link to victim. Pass. And then all we need to do is delete Carlos. Def delete. Uh, we don't want, I have a thing we should be able to use. Okay. So we're going to receive the linking URL and blog here. What do we want to do? We want to, uh, how do we want to deliver that? Like as an image, because all it is, is a get, right? So I keep going to the wrong thing. If we go to exploit server, check it, check it, and put in the body something like image source equals whatever, and then get the victim to visit it, they will use, you know, whatever that request because it is just a get Redirecting. Yeah. I'm thinking that's how we do it. So we need to look up in site the exploit stuff. Get exploit log email post exploit. This is what we want. So post uh, blog dot post exploit. What do we want? We want response file we don't care about. Uh, that's fine. We want it as HTML. We want the response body to change though. Response body equals, let's just do that. what I said. IMG source equals um, linking URL like that. We'll do an F here. Response body form action is fine. Everything else is good, right? That's all we need. And that's delivered it to the victim. That's pretty cool. Okay. Deliver. We didn't need a freaking <laughs> function for that. That's funny. I created this function with like, you know, 30 lines and then this one with one. Uh, deliver to victim blog linking URL. Okay. Now, if that's right, if we're working so far, we should be able to then go to... It should then be linked. So if we go to home, if we go back to login and click login with social media, let's see. Uh, my account. If we go get the login and then click this link, visit this. What if we just All right, so we want um, presp equals uh, 
asp equals blog dot get response blog dot base URL plus login and then we want the log the uh want the log dot debug resp dot text because I want to get that link. We don't need any cookies yet. Or I guess we do need to be logged in with our, yeah, we need to be logged in with our wiener. So what just happened here? We got delivered a victim. We can check to see if that happened. And we can check the contents here. Make sure it looks right. What? Image source. Did I not finish this? Linking. Hmm. What was the response when I did? Post. What the crap? Oh yeah, that's right. Get delivered a victim to found, make sure this looks right, file, head, body, image, that looks right, and then let's go to access log, victim, slash exploit, okay, everything's looking fine so far, except for when we get the login, we need to use our our session, our cookies that we got here. So response login cookies equals cookies. And then we should be able to click the login with social media button. and be good to go. Right here, we got our session. Where's our Crap, where's our login with social media button? I thought we would have that. Login. It is there he in that one. I don't see it here. I do see it in this one. It's because I'm not, where did I? All right, so this is Python. This is where we logged in and we got the B whatever session. And then we did my account, Wiener. And then Did the whatever. Here we should probably use that session again. But 
this one oh so we're definitely well no what the heck's wrong session so we just my account oh we need to log out Sorry, I'm kind of confused. And then we can post. I don't understand what's going on right now. Why doesn't, so let's, let's not use any cookies here. And hopefully we get a link to, and then we can. <laughs> All right. So hopefully here we get a link to the social media site and then we can use that to post. There we go. This is login with social media. We'll use this. The same will extract this. So um, social media URL equals, and we'll do like the same we've done a bunch of times, pattern equals R, we'll do double quotes, href equals single quote dot asterisk question mark. We're gonna go until we run into a single quote and then have boom login with social, right? That's gonna be our pattern. We're gonna do blog.extract text pattern resp.text. Here's the resp. So there's our social media URL. Now we're going to visit that. So blog dot get response social media URL resp equals uh, do I have did I get assigned a cookie let's check in the proxy yeah I got assigned a session so let's grab that session and start right yeah, somewhere right here, we're going to do session cookie equals resp dot cookies dot get session and cookies equals boom session session cookie. All right. We're going to get that, uh, but we're not going to use the cookie for this get, right? Because that just doesn't make sense. Blog.get response. We're going to log.debug resp.text. And then here we're going to post our social media, which I feel like we've done somewhere up here, right here. Uh, so here's the form where we 
Yeah. Action URL. Pattern equals action class. I don't understand what the difference is, but whatever. We need, <laughs> shoot, attach, not attach. We need login this time, but we can still do this as pattern and extract this pattern equals interaction dot asterisk to class and then we can still submit this we probably need to grab some cookies um, our data is still this the URL we need to build that is still this Oh, blog extract text. No, we want we need to figure out the OAuth scheme and OAuth domain. Man, I'm making this hard, aren't I? Um, action URL, we need, uh, the URL that we got here, social media URL. So I want this stuff to go here and instead of OAuth link, change word, social media URL there. That should fill out this stuff. We're getting the username and password. Resp blog post data. We need data equals username, password. What are our cookies look like? When we get auth, we get assigned interaction so let's grab that cookies same that we got somewhere up here yeah that I feel like I'm doing the exact same stuff okay and then we're gonna post that all right, let's see how far we've got now. This is all blog resp. We're going to log in. Log in to blog using username, password. Uh, so, whoops, that's this linking URL. So now we're going to get code from OAuth. Cool. Now we're going to deliver code to victim. And that's it here. Now we are logging in using social media all right so let's see what are we logged in we got a redirect here and then we got a redirect to here and this says 200 okay 
This is the Oath. Why is it requesting? We'll just confirm it. So the same URL just slacked confirm will post there using all of these cookies that we now have. So cookies underscore session equals resp dot request dot cookies dot get session and session dot legacy will be the same. All right. And then we're going to post, we're going to do the same post that we did here. Where did we do it? Right here. We're going to just, we don't need any data and we're going to modify the URL just a touch. URL will be almost the same except for slash confirm. And then I have no data. I really feel like we're duplicating way too much effort here. Okay, post to... Oh, this is slash login slash confirm. Dang it. Um, so I need to... take this uh, URL equals URL we want boom boom dot join URL dot split on and then we want uh, or no I can do like URL equals URL no URL boom slash login so I'm just going to take off slash login which is one two three four five six six characters so all of the beginning to the end. So if I do boom six, it starts. I think that's right. Oh no, URL. The action URL. The problem is the action URL has login. Action URL equals, let's do it like this. Um, boom, boom, dot join. Action URL dot split on, and then do all but the last one. So we want the first one and the second one up to the negative one. I don't know. Log.info action URL. Let's see if I got that even close 
to being right. Oh, we need... Yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work. My goal was to split it by the forward slashes and then take all of it except for the last one and then join that back together. Oh, I need to join it back together with a slash. Probably. So let's just see how I did. It, yeah, it would have worked had I had that, it looks like. Um, and then this action URL will be that slash confirm. So now let's run that. Make sure... We've got it to there. There's probably a way that I don't have to actually log back in. Posting data too. So this is that post confirm uh, redirecting. OF login code. Boom. Admin panel. Yes. Woo hoo hoo. Uh, so we need to get this session in the response and then go to my account. So um, session equals resp dot. Uh, it is dot cookies dot get session and then cookies equals boom se session session res dot no uh, blog dot get blog dot my account res equals whoops i don't know what i just did i'm gonna undo resp equals log dot info blah yeah info debug resp dot text i think all we need to do now is uh oh uh, blog dot get response dang it Kill that. Run it again. Uh, since we have delete Carlos, I think we can just do delete Carlos. With the cookie, so uh, blog dot delete Carlos cookies equals cookies. blog dot is salt uh oh this doesn't look right get oauth code The response, you have successfully logged in. So we've got a session of this, get my account without a session. So where do we get Here's where we get my account. Of course, we didn't use cookies equals cookies. Which, why would we do that? I mean, all right. We may have just solved this. May, may have. So much, so much stuff. 
I really should like try to reduce this code, but at this point, I'm happy it's done. Well, I hope it's done. So we're confirming. Tempting to delete. Slab is solved. Yeah. Let's go get our freaking banner. I don't want, I want this. What up now? That is freaking awesome. All right. Uh, yeah, so the problem was in this one that there was no state code so that we could create this code. Let's see. Let me uh, make sure I, I'm not talking out of my this. No. Was it this? Auth login. We want not the login. We want auth client. All right, let's rewind a little bit. Auth login code. Interaction. Get this. This is what we want. OAuth linking code. So basically, we, cr we created this OAuth linking code that had, that was connected to our our social media ours in the tacker and we because there was no state code meaning no link between this auth code and the uh, so right here and the victim we could use ours to have the victim automatically get connect theirs to ours. Oh, there's no, there was no state code between the establishing the, uh, the OAuth and the account. Hope that makes sense. So like if I went to, Establish, get my account uh, right here, attach a social media profile. It would be if there was a some kind of code here in this link so that when the finished, when you come back from the OAuth process, it tracked, you know, it was linked somehow to my account then I wouldn't be able to use it for anyone else because that link would say, nope, sorry, this isn't your account. You can't link somebody else's social media profile to, or your social media profile to somebody else's account. But because that link was, is not, there's no way for, from here to tell which account this process is going to do, uh, that's, that's the issue, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Goodbye.